Today, since it's almost Halloween, I decided I would talk about some Halloween related animals. Okay, so angler fish, they're kind of these creepy looking fish. I don't really have much to say about angler fish. I'm not really that much of a marine expert. I know a little bit about marine mammals, but when you get into fish, I'm kind of just like, eh. But anglerfish are really cool because they live really, really deep in the ocean, and bioluminescence is really cool. That basically means that they're able to create their own light, uh, which if you've seen Finding Nemo, you saw that's how they hunt. Uh, they have a little light that like comes out from their head that they dangle in front of them, and it attracts other fish. And then the other fish come up and they're like, oh, cool, pretty light. And, and then the, the angler just goes. So that's pretty scary and also pretty cool. So obviously bats are a typical Halloween symbol. Vampires turn into bats. Bats fly out of creepy things that are like awake at night. But they're really cool. I mean, they're really cute. Look at this face. It's so cute. I love bats. They're adorable. Okay, I know I'm in the minority for loving bats. But I was raised reading Stella Luna, and that was one of my favorite books as a kid, and so I will always love bats, because Stella Luna. But also, you shouldn't be afraid of bats. They're really not that dangerous. You don't want to be bit by a bat, because they can carry diseases, so if you do find one in your home, it's a good idea to call the proper authorities to help take care of it. But other than that, you really shouldn't be scared of them. And particularly in North America, they're really great animals because most of the bats living in North America are insectivores. That means they eat bugs, and they eat a lot of them. Without bats, we would basically be overrun with bugs, including mosquitoes, which I hate mosquitoes, so let's help bats. And actually, there's a really big problem with bats right now. There's uh, this thing called white nose syndrome, and it's caused by a fungus that originated in the Eurasian area and has been brought over to America and has killed millions of bats already. Another classic Halloween symbol, the black cat. Okay, let's just face it, black cats are adorable. Why is anyone scared of them? And honestly, black cats are different from any other cats. The only reason I put them in here is because I think they're absolutely adorable and I want to put a picture of a black cat. Ravens are another Halloween-y type animal. They're kind of creepy. People kind of associate with them with death, which makes sense. They do eat dead things because they're scavengers. And I kind of like the creepiness part because I'm a huge Poe fan. But ravens are also really cool on their own. They're really intelligent birds. They can figure out all sorts of cool problems. And they also have similar vocal structure to parrots. So though it's not very common for people to teach ravens this, you could very easily teach a raven to talk just like you can teach a parrot. Madagascar hissing cockroaches. I love Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Now, I love them for a few reasons. One of them, they freak people out. There's a lot of animals where at least one of the reasons I like them is because they freak other people out. Giant millipedes, snakes, tarantulas, they're all animals that freak a lot of people out, but I find really cool. But these cockroaches are also cool for other reasons. First of all, they hiss which is really cool, and it's basically their only defense systems. Cockroaches are actually also really great for the environment. They eat all sorts of decomposing and dead things that we really don't want laying around and no one really wants laying around, and then puts them back into the soil. Okay, so that's all for today. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for Michelle's video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next week. Bye!